I have built my frame for around my television in my outdoor living area and I have like tested I don't know how many you can see here different layers of paint colors of paint I've got green with gold um, basically I wanted something that was gonna look um, not super you know traditional but then a, not super modern either like somewhere marrying those two things in between there and so I made a decision finally I went through solid gold we did cream with gold white with gold green with gold I mean clearly like gold was the theme right at some point I thought about keeping it the natural um, wood color and just clear coating everything changed my mind completely we're gonna go with um, this right here and I'm gonna show you how to do it today. Um, I think it kind of creates an antique look, but it's a combination of three different paints because it gives that depth that I think the frame really needs to look like we didn't just build it and just paint it, right? Um, if you just put one coat of gold paint, it's gonna look pretty flat and not a lot of dimension. So um, I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. It's super, super easy. I went and bought several different gold paints. You can see here, this is the more expensive. The bottle is so pretty, but when I painted it, it wasn't the gold that I wanted. It was a less expensive one that won. Um, I had this black satin paint, or I'm sorry, it's matte. It's matte, perfect. Um, in my garage already, so I didn't even have to buy this one. So it's a layer of black, gold, and then the ever famous Rub and Buff. This one is the color Gold Leaf, which is one of my favorites of the Rub and Buff. All of them are really nice, um, but this is the one I went with for this project. So let's start. Um, I'm just gonna show you on a small piece and then I'm gonna go do the larger frame when I've, um, when I've showed you guys how to do this one because it's the same process all over again. Again, we're trying to achieve this look right here. I'm gonna move these out of the way. All right, so this is our piece. This is what the natural wood looks like. The very first step is to give it a light um, cover of the matte black. So it's just gonna be, you know, you're not gonna do a real heavy coat you know, normally when you paint, you want it to be like super, super coated and that you can't see through, but I kind of like seeing the wood through just a little bit. And you want to let that dry. It doesn't take long to dry at all. 60 seconds probably, because it's bare wood and it's really soaking in that color. And then here I have my metallic gold. This is from Rust-Oleum. I know both of these are Rust-Oleum, but I just really liked this gold better. So you give this a, the exact same kind of light coat of gold and tr you know usually it's going to kind of like pick up on the higher portions a little more so you, the deeper um, parts of the molding are going to carry that black a little more and then the um, raised parts are going to hold the gold a little more I'm actually going to give this a minute to dry and then I'm going to do another little coat and then we're going to go back with the rub and buff so while this is drying I'll describe the rub and buff you see how small this container is a little goes a really long way and for that frame I'm expecting to use probably a whole lot of this. I'll probably have to replenish it after this, but generally this bottle will last you a really long time. You can use it on lamps, you can use it on anything that you, like the color isn't quite right of the gold, or you wanna add a little bit of depth. You can put it on your finger and rub it in. It really is like a thick concentrated paint. Um, I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna brush it on today onto my project, onto this larger frame, oops. But, um, but usually it's used for smaller things like I said the bottoms maybe if you have the bottom of your lamp is too brassy of a gold and you want to tone it down some this is a really good product for that all right so now that this is it's probably not completely dry but I just want to hit it one more time with the gold paint there you go we got that all right for real we're gonna have to let it dry before we um before we put the rubbing buff you want to make sure that this dries really really good I'm going to give it um probably 10 or 15 minutes to dry and then we'll come back and we'll put the rubbing buff on so you can see what this final will look like. All right, now it's time for the rub and buff. Um, it comes in this little tube, like I mentioned, and I like to apply it directly to the brush. In a lot of cases, you can apply it right to your finger and, and do that, that way, but since it's such a large frame, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with the, the brush here. I apply it directly to the brush, and you don't need a ton. It just takes a little bit, as you can see right there. And then what I'm gonna do is apply it to the kind of the higher ridges. Remember we talked about a few seconds ago how the higher parts get the more gold and the lower parts kind of tend to be a little more of the black that's showing through. So I'm going to, you know, continue with that feel and kind of hit the higher parts with the gold and you kind of go quickly. You know, you don't want to be too, oh gosh, you don't want to be too perfect with it. You just want to kind of like throw it on there. And that's what really makes it look like it's aged out. 
and this stuff runs, you know, pretty quick. It lasts, it lasts, you know, for that, like for this whole piece, I just had a little bit of um, the product on here, and it, but it does spread really nicely and kind of just hits all those spots you need it to. So you can see how similarly, I've done these probably a week apart at this point, but you can see how similar they look. Um, and that's all there is to it. This stuff dries pretty quick, and we're gonna be able to get that frame up today, but you can see how it creates that depth that we're looking for when you're, when you're trying to go for an antique frame, which is hard to achieve when you've got a brand new piece of lumber, you've um, you know caulked all the corners and everything, and uh, you want it to kind of give that age look like right now, and not you know when it actually takes to get older. So that's how I've achieved it. Um, if you guys have any questions, be sure to comment below. I'll be doing all this through on my Instagram stories and in reels and stuff like that if you wanna participate and come comment there and I'll see you over on the social medias. Thank you.